Where do Slovaks really come from? For centuries, this has been one of Central Europe's most overlooked mysteries. Some say Slovaks are simply a Slavic people who arrived in the early Middle Ages. Others believe their roots go far deeper, reaching back to the very first groups who settled the Carpathians thousands of years before the Slavs appeared. Now, for the first time, DNA is giving us real answers. And what scientists have discovered is truly surprising. So stay with me until the end, because we're about to uncover the hidden story of Slovak DNA, a story far older and far more complex than most people ever imagined. And before we dive in, let me ask you a question. Do you think Slovaks are mainly Slavic, or do their origins go much deeper? Drop your answer in the comments. As time moved on, the area of present-day Slovakia saw many cultures pass through. One of the most surprising for many people is the Celtic presence. Long before the Slavs, Celtic tribes such as the Boii lived in the region. They built settlements, traded across Europe, and left behind artifacts that archaeologists continue to find. Although the Celts eventually disappeared from the region as a cultural group, small traces of their genetic influence remain today. Later came Germanic tribes. These included groups like the Quadi and others who lived along the Danube. They interacted with the Roman Empire, fought wars, traded goods, and moved in and out of the region during the shifting period of late antiquity. While they did not leave a dominant genetic legacy in Slovakia, they added another subtle layer to the population. The lands of Slovakia were also close enough to Rome to feel the influence of the empire. Roman outposts, trade routes, and settlements touched parts of southern Slovakia. Although the Romans did not stay long or settle deeply in the area, a small genetic influence likely entered through soldiers, traders, and migrations connected to the empire. By the time we reach the early Middle Ages, the genetic landscape of the region was already a layered mosaic formed by thousands of years of movement. And then, the Slavs arrived. Most people imagine the Slavic migration as a sudden arrival of a new people who replaced those who lived there before. But modern research paints a different picture. Instead of replacing the older populations, the early Slavs mixed with them. When Slavic groups reached the Carpathian Basin around the 5th to 6th century CE, they did not enter an empty land. The region already had communities descended from ancient hunter-gatherers, early farmers, steppe groups, and the Celtic and Germanic peoples who came later. These were not wiped away. Instead, they mixed with incoming Slavic-speaking groups. This creates an important insight. The cultural identity became Slavic, but the genetic roots remained older and more diverse. So while the Slovak people today speak a Slavic language and share Slavic cultural traditions, the majority of the DNA inside the population comes from long before the Slavs arrived. This is one of the biggest surprises that scientists point out. It changes the way many people think about identity in Central Europe. It shows that language and DNA do not always follow the same path. This also explains why Slovaks share deep genetic ties with other groups in Central Europe, even when their languages and cultures evolved differently. Once scientists began to examine modern Slovak DNA more closely, they found several major components that stood out. These are the building blocks of the population today. Steppe ancestry is one of the strongest layers in Slovak DNA. It comes from the people who moved from the steppe thousands of years ago. It is shared widely across Europe and forms a major part of Slovak genetic makeup. This comes from the first farming groups who entered Europe from Anatolia. Their DNA appears strongly today and forms another significant layer. Although this component is older, it remains present in the modern population. It reflects the survival of the earliest Europeans who lived in the region after the Ice Age. Modern Slovaks also carry a clear Slavic component. This reflects the early medieval migrations and the later shaping of the region's identity. It ties Slovaks to other Slavic nations in both the East and the North. There are also small but noticeable traces that connect modern Slovaks to Celtic era populations, Germanic tribes who lived near the Danube, Carpathian regional groups that persisted for centuries, 
occasional signals from neighboring regions due to trade, alliances, and border changes. Together, these pieces show that Slovak DNA is far older and richer than many people assume. The genetic story goes deeper than culture and deeper than language. It stretches across millennia. Slovaks share one of their closest genetic profiles with Czechs and Moravians. This is not surprising given the long shared history, similar geography, and frequent contact over many centuries. The genetic distance is extremely small. Poland and Slovakia share both ancient ancestry layers and medieval Slavic roots. Mountain regions create some variation, but overall, the two populations are closely related genetically. This is where the surprise appears. While the Hungarian language is not Slavic, the people living in present-day Hungary share a significant portion of their DNA with Slovaks. This is because the majority of Hungary's population descends from the same ancient Central European groups. The later Magyar arrival added cultural change, but only a modest genetic contribution. As a result, Slovaks and Hungarians are genetically closer than many people assume. Slovaks also share connections with Austrians, Silesians, and certain groups in northern Croatia and southern Poland. These links come from both ancient and medieval migrations across Central Europe. When all this is put together, a clear pattern emerges. Slovaks sit at a crossroads between West Slavic, Central European, and Carpathian populations. They form a unique blend that reflects both deep history and medieval movements. When scientists looked deeper into Slovak DNA, they found several unexpected layers that do not fit neatly into the typical Slavic story. These elements are not large in percentage, but they are important because they reveal older movements and forgotten chapters that shaped the population long before written history. One of the most surprising traces comes from the ancient Celtic presence in the region. Although the Celtic tribes disappeared from Central Europe many centuries ago, they left behind small but detectable genetic signals. These do not stand out strongly, but they are consistent. They show up most clearly around areas where archaeological finds confirm Celtic activity. This does not mean modern Slovaks are Celtic in identity. It simply means that the people living in the region absorbed earlier groups instead of replacing them. Another unexpected layer is the influence of old Germanic tribes. During the time of the Roman Empire and the centuries that followed, many Germanic groups passed through or lived temporarily in what is now Slovakia. Their cultural presence eventually faded, especially after the larger population blending of the early medieval period. There are also signals that connect Slovaks to older Carpathian populations that existed long before modern categories like Slavic, Germanic, or Celtic. These older groups lived in isolated valleys and mountain areas, and their genetic signatures survived because they mixed with newcomers instead of being replaced by them. The Carpathian region preserved many older lineages in a way that open plains could not. Some scientists also note tiny links that connect Slovakia to southern and southeastern Europe, likely from early medieval movements, trade routes, and shifting populations. These connections are small, but they help explain why the genetic map of the region shows smooth transitions rather than sharp borders. None of these elements define Slovaks today but together they show that the population is not formed from a single event or a single migration. It is a collection of old fragments that survived through time. These small details add depth and help explain why Slovak DNA is more varied than people expect, even though Slovak culture today appears culturally unified. When researchers study populations closely, they often find small differences between regions, even within the same country. Slovakia is no exception. Although the population is generally unified, there are subtle regional variations that reflect local history, migration patterns, and long-term settlement. In Western Slovakia, the genetic profile shows slightly stronger links to Czech and Moravian populations. This makes sense given the long shared border, similar landscape, and continuous movement of people over thousands of years. In earlier periods, this region also saw more Celtic and Germanic activity, which adds faint but measurable influences. 
Central Slovakia shows a strong continuity with older Central European and Carpathian groups. The mountains and forests of this area acted like a protective zone where communities could remain stable over long periods of time. This region tends to reflect the deep ancestral layers that form the foundation of the Slovak population. It contains some of the most stable and consistent genetic patterns in the country. Eastern Slovakia has its own distinct features. Over many centuries, this region had more contact with groups from the south and southeast. Small traces of early medieval and later movements from the Balkans can be detected here, although they are minor. Eastern Slovakia also shows links to populations living around the northern Carpathians and certain areas of Poland and Ukraine. These reflect old trade routes, shared settlement areas, and natural corridors through the mountains. While these differences exist, they are not large enough to separate the population into isolated groups. Instead, they show how geography gently shapes people over time. The mountains create pockets of continuity. River valleys bring connections. Borders shift, but people stay. When everything is viewed together, the regions of Slovakia form one connected population with slight variations that tell stories about where people settled, who they interacted with, and how communities changed over centuries. One of the most interesting findings in Slovak genetics comes from the Carpathian Mountains. This mountain chain shapes not only the landscape, but also the population. For thousands of years, the Carpathians acted as both a barrier and a gathering place. They protected older populations during times of migration. They also guided newcomers along natural routes that passed through valleys and lowlands. Because of this, the Carpathians preserved some of the oldest genetic signals in the entire region. These signals come from ancient communities who lived in the mountain zones long before the arrival of the Slavs. When scientists examine these areas today, they find traces of ancestry that connect modern Slovaks to Bronze Age and early Iron Age groups who lived in the Carpathian region long before written history. Another important role of the Carpathians is how they influenced migration patterns. Instead of allowing large waves of newcomers to move through freely, the mountains shaped migrations into smaller, slower movements that allowed more mixing with local populations. There are also genetic signals connecting the Carpathian region to populations living along the entire mountain arc, from Poland and Ukraine to Romania. These connections are not large, but they reflect a long history of shared landscapes, seasonal migration, trade, and intermarriage among mountain communities. The Carpathian influence helps explain why Slovak DNA looks the way it does today. Layered, stable in some areas, gently mixed in others, and deeply rooted in the ancient history of Central Europe. It is not defined by one group or one time period. It is shaped by the slow, steady interaction between people and landscape over thousands of years. The history of the Slovaks, from the earliest hunter-gatherers and ancient farmers to Celtic tribes, Slavic settlers, and every group that passed through the Carpathians, has left its mark on the Slovak genetic code. Every chapter, every migration, and every forgotten culture is still carried quietly inside the people of Slovakia today. If you've enjoyed this journey through the unique DNA of the Slovaks, let us know in the comments. Have you ever taken a DNA test and discovered Slovak roots? Or maybe you've always wondered about the origins of your family's features, traditions, or regional background. Share your stories, we'd love to hear them. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.